These are my top five mistakes I made as a beginner nail tech. What's up Ninja Squad and welcome back to another video here on my channel. So my name is Selena Ryden. I am an international educator and I have been doing nails since 2005. In this video, we're gonna talk about my top five mistakes that I made as a beginner nail tech and hopefully I'm gonna spare you the same mistakes that I did. But before we jump into the video, I just want to tell you why I look all glammed up with sparkly things around my face and that is because I actually did a music video shoot this morning for my band Star Cassette. You know, I did my makeup, I did my hair and everything, I got lashes on, I never put lashes on and I got my contacts in so I figured I don't want to waste this look right here i'm gonna make a couple of videos so that is the reason why i look all pretty today also i am wearing my fantastic nail technicorn t-shirt which looks like that so if you have not checked out my nail swag yet i would recommend you to go and check it out right now you can find the link up here or down in the description box this print right here is actually designed by myself on my iPad Pro. So it's 110% uh, Selena Ryden branded. So without further ado, let's move right into the video. Mistake number one. I did not do enough research before jumping on my education program. I wish that I would have taken the time and done more research. Problem, when I started out in 2005, we didn't have anything like Instagram. YouTube Facebook uh, well I think we had Google but it was it was hard to find things so I got in contact with a school right here actually in this area I just finished the uh, Swedish high school and then I got a job at a cafe and then one of my colleagues she had been modeling for that nail school when I saw her nails it was like oh my god what kind of sorcery is this because I had no clue that you can do this with what's it called gel acrylic what I was super fascinated so she helped me to get in contact contact with the school and so that I could model for the students as well and I did that way I got in contact with of course the educator she was extremely convincing very charismatic now I could also add the word manipulating because I see that now she told me that this brand was a Rolls Royce of product or materials or brands people who were using anything else basically were idiots because anything else other than this particular brand was gonna damage your nails for life so of course I didn't know anything else I didn't do my research it was really hard for me to find any information at all so I jumped on this education because obviously I believed her why shouldn't I well it took me seven years to switch brands because I was too scared to switch over to anything else that's how manipulating the brand and she was my first mistake was not to do the proper research now you you guys have the opportunity to do the research because you have everything you need. Speak with different schools, go visit them, speak with nail techs. You can become members of different Facebook groups and see what, you know, ask around there. What kind of material do you want to work with? Do you want to work with gel or just acrylic or both? Just try to gather as much information you can before you jump on the full thing. And that kind of brings me right into my mistake number two. I was not open than to try out anything else. I was stuck with that brand for seven years. And if I would have tried anything else, then I could have left earlier because that brand, it was so freaking expensive. I see that now, like how expensive it was. Of course, they wanted to keep you there and they wanted to have you scared so that you wouldn't try out anything else. I fell for the brainwash and I was stuck with that for a very, very long time. I would say, don't be scared to try out different brands and materials. Just don't mix that's another video don't mix brands but try different systems out and see what you like and keep an open mind to new things because as a beginner you don't really know what you are more comfortable with what kind of material works best for your body and your hands and your mindset and stuff like that so really try out different things just don't mix my mistake number three is that i was very 
naive and I thought that oh my god it's gonna be so nice getting out of high school I had a very hard time in school in general but especially like high school girls liked to pick on me because I had a voice I could speak for myself and I think that I send something out that people find intimidating I was not taking up a lot of space it's just that I obviously send some kind of vibe out to people that makes them feel intimidated so I had a really hard time in high school and school in general so when I got out I was like thank god this nightmare is over I'm finally gonna get into adult life the drama is over well, it was not. And that was my third mistake. I was naive. And when I started working at the educator salon, the same educator where I uh, did my training, I started to work at her salon. There was like four other women or something working there as well. And because I was new and I was young and I was, I would say pretty good. Once again, they thought that I was some kind of threat to them. So they started to gang up on me and trash talk me and whatever and it ended with me quitting after nine months and I was so damaged after that I didn't start to work at a nail salon again until 10 years later I think so I was naive and thought that people are nice it sounds wrong of me to say it but people are not nice some people are really nice but just be aware of that it is a business and unfortunately women tend to be like that in situations like this and in this industry just don't let your guard down and don't expect expose yourself too much to the people that you are working with mistake number four clients are not your friends i actually got this advice m many years ago well not that many years ago maybe four years ago and i was like what are you talking about i'm friends with all my clients they're amazing and they would do anything for me and we're so happy i love <laughs> okay now it sounds like i'm super <laughs> sarcastic and yeah but whatever just hear me out the clients that i have right now they're like eight ten people are amazing i love them they're fantastic they're so understanding they're so much fun to hang out with when we're here doing nails i love hearing about the stories about their lives they are so amazing because there are so many like the characters they're so different from each other i'm super thankful because they're so understanding that my life is very different sometimes i need to switch them around a little bit but I always find time for them that's the most important thing but we do have a little bit of a different situation you know we have such a, an amazing time when we are here I think you always have to remember that they are here for the nails if you start to think that oh my god these are all my best friends we share everything and they would do anything for me blah 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 you are just going to get hurt because in the end we're talking about a service you have the role of the nail tech and they have the role of the client and that that situation works but as soon as you start to add more personal like friendship feelings into that it can mess it up so bad I have had that happen a couple of times because I didn't know better and once again I'm very naive I like to think the best of people I thought that I had a couple of clients that truly were my friends I mean we even did things outside of the studio or the salon and I really thought that we were friends but then after a while you realize that it was maybe just the nails they're just being nice it's not gonna go past that but if you are a very naive and i'm not saying that like in a bad way really like if you just think the best of people you want to be friends with someone it's so easy to get hurt really bad because there's money involved and that always puts it in a very difficult position and of course there's always the exceptions i bet you guys have met someone that you did nails on and now you're best friends and so on but in general just don't think that your clients are your friends like best friends they are your clients and you are friends when you are in the salon zone maybe back it up a little bit just to make sure that you won't get hurt my fifth and final mistake i've done more mistakes than that but these are the ones that just came to me and that is 
I didn't charge enough for nail art when I started. It's so easy to be like, oh no, it's on the house. You can have that. No, I don't want to charge. Women in general, we we're so scared of charging for anything that we do in general. So that was my biggest mistake, not to take charge and actually charge what I'm worth and the stuff that I know. Even if it's just a tiny little thing, just a dollar here and there, that adds up to be a lot of money at the end of the year if you didn't charge for that. And of course you have the material. So you are paying for that nail art that the client is walking around with. Now, of course there's the exception of if you want to get the nail art out to your clients. Like if you want to get it started, sometimes you could do it on the house. You just want to get the client into nail art. We we're talking about that in a previous video. But when you do it on a regular basis, like not charging for nail art, stop that. And those were my top five mistakes. I made as a beginner in nail tech. Hopefully you have learned something on the way and please don't make the same mistakes that I did. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and click that little notification bell. Don't forget to follow me on my other social media and I will see you guys in the next video. Take care, bye.